college sports teams are now heading into the streaming universe. They are starting their own streaming channels, and I don't know that this is a terrible idea, right? Now, we already know that the market is saturated when it comes to streaming services. You've got everything from Hulu and Disney Plus and Netflix and HBO Max and Paramount and blah, 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 blah. It just goes on and on and on, right? Peacock is out there for WWE fans and Notre Dame fans and etc. But for each individual team, they are trying to get together their own streaming platforms to make a little bit of extra money. Now, when you look at the teams that have already announced, right, LSU, Arkansas, Notre Dame, Clemson, Maryland, Oklahoma State, etc., cetera, uh, they are starting their own, and it ranges anywhere from $5 a month to $9 a month. As far as content goes, old games, old interviews, uh, different Radio shows, you can start your own radio network, you can start your own TV shows, right? That's so many different places have content, much like ours. We talk about everything when it comes to football and, uh, and some of these other sports. But all of these different athletic programs have more than just football. Now, it will be mostly football fans that tune in for this. You're not going to get any live coverage because all of those third-party media rights are done. The SEC, right, LSU and Arkansas are on this list. Their third-party media rights are already sold out. ESPN owns all of that. So all of the live stuff goes over to ESPN, whether it's ESPN+, Plus, uh, SEC Network, ABC, blah, 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 blah. All of those are done, but when it comes to your own in-house products, talking about the team, uh, your own coaches' shows, your uh, different things that you can do, right? You can, uh, Ole Miss has done a really good job of this. Ole Miss put together something called The Season, right, where they have behind the scenes for every game, etc. You could get it on YouTube. It was very easy to access. You put that behind a paywall, maybe you've got some people that are interested in that. Think about the millions of people that are fans of these schools that might be willing to part with $5 a month, up to $9 a month, depending on the school. Uh, let me put it up on the screen here. LSU Gold is a premium subscription content service. Uh, this says in here, beginning August 1st, gold will be available to stream on mobile devices, desktop and laptop computers, and over-the-top streaming platforms like Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV. Now, it says unrivaled content, unprecedented access. What exactly is that? Uh, <laughs> it's very strange. The director of athletics, Scott Woodward, said... Through the launch of our subscription content network, LSU Gold, and the convergence of our creative talents in South Stadium Productions, LSU Athletics is taking the next step to ensure we continue to leave the nation in innovative, engaging storytelling. We are excited to offer our fans a subscription service to connect them closer to the teams they love, and we are confident the team we are assembling and the infrastructure we are building will help us further engage the most passionate fans in the country and take the already iconic LSU brand to new heights. Uh, this says... It's going to be built entirely on content and expanded access to award-winning features. It says fans will still be able to enjoy LSU's already existing menu of content for free at lsusports.net and on social media. But it says unprecedented access to every team on campus, a perfect platform to tell stories of our talented student-athletes and accomplished staff, etc. My guess, now looking at the numbers, right, I've gone through this. When you're looking at just five dollars a month, LSU's is supposed to be nine. But if you look at five dollars a month, say you've got twenty five thousand subscribers, right? That's one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a month, which equals to one and a half million dollars per year. If it were five dollars a month, one and a half million dollars a year, you could you could front this thing, hire staff and whatnot, fund it for a full year for three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars. Then you're talking about $900,000 worth of profit, right? Now, when you look at LSU's, who is charging $9 per month, uh, that comes out to $2.7 million per year if you can get 25,000 subscribers per month. Very interesting. It's just another revenue spot. It's just another way for people to support their team. And I would choose to believe that there is going to be at least 25,000 people that will sign up for each of these individual teams' content map, right? They will, they will find a way 
to bring in more people and make something that is riveting. And this is a perfect way to do it. If you were just going to toss it out on YouTube, are the ad dollars really worth it? I don't know. But if you're bringing in $125,000, you know, for $5 per person per month, maybe then it's worth it. And then you've already got a team on staff. And this is all pointing, by the way, to something that I have been discussing on the show here and there multiple times. Are we going to get to a point where everything is on stream? Where everything, all of these teams, if there are no conferences, if there's no da 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 there's no big-time TV deal, would the networks have to go to each individual team? Well, if each individual team already has their own infrastructure set up to be able to stream their own games, to be able to do their own stuff, that's what I'm curious about. That's what I want to know. I want to know, is this going to lead to that? Are you going to have to buy each individual team's home games? to be able to watch the games, and we'll see. Now, my, my guess was that most of those would be pay-per-view, etc., but who knows? Who freaking knows? This is, this is crazy. Uh, it is certainly nuts. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.